All right, guys, I hope you all are doing okay. This is Sister Comfort here. I know I've not been here for a couple of days. I apologize for that. I will really be right back. I will... All right, guys, I hope you all are doing okay. This is Sister Comfort here. I was just looking at this discussion I had with Andy, Anita, Jeffrey, and Michael Williams about traffic, guys. Why? It's massive. I can't explain it in my own words because I don't know. But then go through this, guys. Watch this to the end. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And okay, um, well, when we when we look at traffic, right? What are we talking about? We're talking about um, you know real eyeballs uh, viewing uh, what is being presented, right? So if you have an ad, um, you want to see real people um, taking a look at what it is that you're offering, okay? Eyeballs uh, viewing uh, what is being presented. Right. So if you have an ad, um, you want to see real. Um, and so we know that when it comes to traffic, it, it's, it's something that you have to have. It's, it's a must. Like you can't have a business and don't have traffic. Right. Like, can you imagine you open up a, a, a restaurant? Right. And, um, you know, no one is coming into your restaurant. Why? You know, what could be a, a possible reason? And for a lot of people, it's because they don't advertise, they don't promote, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't promote their restaurant, right? How do people know that you have a restaurant? You know what I mean? You have to share, you have to tell people about it. Um, and so that's what we're talking about when we're saying traffic. We need a traffic. We need people, visitors to come in and take a look at what it is that we have to offer. It doesn't guarantee that they'll buy, but the more people you have coming, it's a greater the probability that they will buy something from you, right? And so when we talk about on passive and talking about um, having traffic and on passive becoming the traffic, um, you know, it's based upon numbers, right? And Andy, I know you love numbers, right? So it's, it's based upon numbers. It's based upon the amount of customers that on passive will have over the years. We're not saying overnight, but over time, we're going to have so many customers, customers upon customers, upon customers, millions upon millions of customers come in because we're going to have so much to offer. It's not just one product. It's not just O-Connect. It's not just O-Tracker. It's a long list of products, and that list will continue to grow over time. So as you have all these people coming in, and they're now customers of OnPassive, guess what? OnPassive now can be that traffic to many other businesses. When we think of Facebook as an example, how does Facebook make their money? It's based upon their database. It's based upon all the customers, whether active or inactive, but it's their sheer number, the sheer size of people that they have real eyeballs that they can now go to or have companies come into them saying, hey, we want to promote this product to your database, right? So imagine on passive having 100 million, just to throw a number out there, 100 million uh, customers, Imagine on passive have 1 billion customers. We don't know what the number is going to be, but based upon our, our model, based upon all that we have um, to offer and will offer, it's going to be a massive number, right? And so that massive number of a database or people, right? Now you can offer whatever product, as long as it's legitimate and all of that stuff, right? Now we become the traffic to other businesses, and that now generates revenue for on passive, which on passive will share with us, right? So it's a it's a brilliant um, plan, uh, and that's just one part of it. It's not you know it's not the plan. It's not the only thing, um, but certainly it's going to be a byproduct um, based upon what we have to offer and the sheer size uh, that will grow over time. Um, uh, Michael, if if you can kind of expand on what I think I'm going to bring up here too, because Ash has talked in the past about this and getting back to the, we're going to become the traffic uh, kind of a thing, you know, the core of it is if you think of it like this, he's talked about so many times uh, multiple streams of income. And when we've got, and I like that term a hundred million, because I think that's very doable. And I don't think that's uh, out of the question. But if we've got 100 million people and somebody comes to the company and says, hey, we've got this widget that we want you guys, uh, Ash, to, to market to your 100 million people, Ash then comes to the founders and says, hey, we've got this person willing to pay us some pretty big bucks. We're going to put this widget on anybody's member's website that wants to, and you 
now are their traffic, but everybody you reach is now the traffic. And we will also pay you a, 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 a bit of that, a portion of that, that you're bringing in because it's on, it's in your network now. Is that also part of what we're talking about, Michael? Yeah, absolutely, um, Jeffrey. Uh, there's so many, um, you know, ways of looking at this, right? And there's so uh, much that we're able to, we'll be able to reach um, with the idea of us becoming the traffic. Um, but I, I like the part whereby, you know, we to, to, to be specific to that phrase that we actually become the traffic, right? That's more to do with companies coming to us coming to on passive, you know, when you're watching the Super Bowl or a football game or a TV show, you know, there's ads, there's commercials. Okay. So what do you think these companies are doing? These companies are coming to this particular network and saying, Hey, you know, we're trying to sell, you know, McDonald's or whatever. Right. And so they pay in some cases, millions of dollars for a 30 second commercial. Right. Think of these companies coming out to on passive because of the, when we say database, we're talking about the, the, the viewership, the amount of, of people that are here, real eyeballs, that's us, right? Anyone that's in on passive as a customer, as a user, as an affiliate, that's us, right? And so when Jeffrey, uh, again, bring up that number to 100 million, again, just as an example, folks, it's just an example, right? 100 million um, that's within, okay, these companies, whether it's McDonald's, whether it's Nike, whether it's Adidas, you know, whomever it is, they're always looking for traffic. McDonald's have been around for how many years now? You still see McDonald's commercial to this very day. Why? Okay, Because it's something that is so important right, to companies. It's their lifeblood. Without it, they will die. Okay, And so you have to have it. So when you have any entity that is massive, any entity that is massive, you're always going to have these high-profile companies Okay, these giants out there in the industry, they're coming looking because they need to get their products, their service in front of real people. And that's exactly what will happen in on passive. These companies will come to us and they will put whatever their ad is, okay, whatever it is they want to display, whether it's a product, whether it's a service, they want to put it in front of real people, that is us. And it will be targeted in the sense that it doesn't have to blanket, you know, like everyone. Like no company wants to waste their advertising dollars, right? You know, like you said, Anita, they're not trying to, you know, uh, go to a restaurant um, that's a, a vegan restaurant and, and all they sell inside their steak, right? Like th that's not going to happen. That wouldn't make any sense. You're wasting your money, okay? And so, you know, there will be segments off the um, um, passive umbrella, if you wish, right? Whereby the database can be segmented so that the right ad is being put to the right individuals so that it's targeted back to the company and they will pay high dollars for it. And to add on to that, you know, we're, we're like a buyer's list, right? We are people who have spent money and that's who advertisers are looking for. They're not looking for people who are freebies, people are just kicking the tires, people not willing to spend money. We being it on passive would have shown right, on passive customers who are paying for products, okay, you'd have shown that you've spent money. So now it's even more relevant to the, the, to the companies that are coming forward and spending their advertising dollars within on passive. So it's a massive platform. It's a massive idea that is going to have so much traction that just that alone will make on passive a giant, just that aspect alone, not to mention everything else um, that we know that is possible. We know that Ash would do anything but sell data. And I know that traffic is data or data traffic and stuff like that. So when we are looking at ourselves like potential traffic, does it go back to the vicious cycle, like making no. fortunes out of data or how does this work? Just for no, uh, Yeah, absolutely, absolutely not. I mean, I just give a quick example. And by all means, it's not the only way, but just a quick example. Okay, we all have... Uh, every single person that will be in on passive will have an O-mail address, okay, right? So our version of email, right? So an O-mail address. So you can have a company that says, yes, I want to, you know, uh, promote, I want to, uh, you know, be presented, whatever it is that I'm offering to the database. It doesn't mean that the company says, hey, here's our data, here, do whatever you want to do with it, you know, here's your list. No, but they can provide an ad, 
let's say an email ad as an example, and then the company now do a broadcast, okay? So that way the data, the contact information is secure. The companies are not seeing that, but they will know that here's their email ad that's been delivered, okay? You can have uh, links inside. So let's say that it's been directed to, a, they want you to go to a particular website to go look at what they have to offer. You can have that link with inside there, Again, O-Trim can be used. You can have uh, uh, ad trackers. There's different ways so that the, the, the customer, right? In this case, the company that wants to advertise, they will be able to see and can see the traffic without seeing your contact information. But they can see that they got real clicks, real viewers came to their site, et cetera. So there's ways to track that. We, we have O-Tracker, right? There's ways to track that activity so that the companies can see that, no, they did not waste their money. They actually got what they paid for without on passive divulging. Here's the name and email address and phone number. And, you know, that's not necessary at all. We know companies do that. We know companies sell their database. That's not what on passive is doing. On passive is part of the correction, right, of the whole corruption idea. So certainly not. Uh, it's going to be done in a very ethical and professional way that it's a win-win. The person who's spending the money, the company, they're getting their money's worth because they're getting real targeted traffic, real eyeballs looking at what they have to offer. And on passive is maintaining their integrity, et cetera, by not selling or divulging the contact information. And then we, the users, okay, are also winning because our information is not being put out there. So I hear you say that in order to make money, you must have to make sales. And you were backing this up with the fact that here's the place because we have products. Uh, we have like the marketing department to do their job out there. We are guaranteed. Anita adds a beautiful word to it, uh, a relevant targeted traffic. However, we are not guaranteed sales. Does everything add up here, Michael? Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, if we go back to our restaurant, okay, and so you have, you've done your advertising, okay, you put the word out there, yes, I've got this great restaurant, come on in, and you get 100 people coming into your restaurant, okay, so, hey, mission accomplished, here are these people coming into your restaurant, hey, we're here for food, okay, because they're targeted, they're looking for food, but they come inside there, though, there is no guarantee that they're going to actually buy when they come inside your restaurant, okay? The fact that, they've, that they're inside, obviously, it's a greater probability that you'll make a sale, so, right? If, if no one came in, well, the problem, you know, that's zero, right? You, there's no chance. You have to have people come in. Now people come in, okay? Now, what are you serving? What are you offering, okay? Um, so if you have food inside there, because you have 100 people coming in, there's a greater chance of somebody buying something from that restaurant versus you only had five people that came in. Five people may come in and look and say, mm, no, it's not what I was thinking of. So, mm. <laughs> And then they leave, right? So the more people I have coming in, right? And so that goes back to, in our case, the more visitors that you get coming, because again, we're talking about targeted visitors. We're not talking about run of the mill. We're not talking about just any, anyone. We're talking about targeted people coming, looking at what OnPassive has to offer. The more people you get coming, okay, is the greater the chance of you making a sale. So while it's not guaranteed, but we can assure, you know, there's some assurance based upon the numbers, based upon the traffic that will come, and that's what we can stand on. Uh, but certainly you can't, no business can guarantee a sale. Um, you just can't. You can, you know, you can increase the chance, you can increase the probability of success, but you can't guarantee it as far as someone coming in and spending money and buying. Also, the fact that we have multiple products that also increases the chance of somebody buying. Because let's take, I'll just say Zoom, for example. They only have one product, okay? So somebody comes to Zoom and they're looking and says, oh, but I don't want to have a, a webinar platform. I was looking for something else. I was looking for an autoresponder or something, right? Guess what? You've lost that sale because you only have the one product. Someone comes to on passive and says, well, no, I'm not looking for a webinar platform. Okay, no problem. How about this? Maybe they want old tracker. Oh, I'm not looking for. Okay, how about this? Maybe they want old domain. They want a domain name, right? Okay, and the list goes on and on. The fact that you have so many, just like a grocery store, right? 
if you have a store and you just have one item inside there, as opposed to have a grocery store and I have a whole bunch of stuff, people come get their fruits, their vegetables, right? Meats, all, all of that. Okay. Somebody walking into that store, they're going to come out with something. They're going to buy something because there's so much to choose from, right? And so that's what on passive is. So yes, we cannot guarantee it, but certainly there's a great, you know, great probability that people will buy at least one thing, uh, Comfort. If I can chime in, um, uh, sure. Comfort, yeah, uh, just to, to add on to uh, what, you're, what you're speaking of. Uh, yes, you, you, when you have a business and you're making money in your business, you don't want to take that money and all you do is go spend it on things that's not relevant to your business. You also want to put back, right, which is what uh, uh, part of what Andy is saying uh, is putting back into his business. He's using some of the uh, commissions from his business um, to be able to purchase other, other products, which is going to springboard him into even uh, more uh, commissions and so on. Um, so certainly you want to be able to uh, take a portion, right? You know, we're not saying to put everything back into your business. That wouldn't make any sense either, right? Because you're in business to make money to do what? Pay your bills and so on and so forth, right? So you certainly want to take a portion of that and put back into your business to help your business grow, right? Um, so that could be buying more traffic, okay? Uh, it could be, uh, you know, paying for products and, and, and tools and so on. Right. So, yeah, you certainly want to do that. That just makes good business sense. Um, you know, every successful <clears throat> business that I'm aware of, they do exactly that. Right. Uh, you have to be able to put back in. And that also springboards you to the next income level, if you wish. Um, you know, so it, it's a it's a smart move uh, on, on anyone's part to do just that. All right. Well, Michael also talked about positioning and, you know, in moving forward, we'd probably do well to keep that in mind. Uh, and we, the way we, that we do that is by checking in often and getting engaged because that's going to allow us to catch each opportunity as it comes in, each opportunity that on passive is bringing to us. And this is the kind of investing in yourself that Anita was just talking about. So, you know, we're in good shape, very good shape. Ash isn't leaving anybody behind. You've got the charter members. You've got those that have subscribed, and you got some the affiliates or the members that don't have anybody yet that he's that he's focusing on. And and I think it's beautiful. So thank you. I just wanted to know, like many others would, uh, are the new affiliates also going to be able to buy traffic when it's ready? Yeah, so you, I, you're concluding now. Thank you. Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, uh, comfort, you know, uh, traffic. Uh, will be available to everyone and, and anyone um, and, and not just uh, those who are affiliates or users or even customers. Um, you know, it's, it's everyone, right? So you can have, you know, as we mentioned, you can have an exterior, someone on the outside who wants traffic for their particular business, et cetera. You know, they create a, a, an O-mail uh, account, you know, uh, which is a free account. Uh, and then they have access to everything that's inside the ecosystem. Okay, um, so it really is that simple. But I, I want to finish off on on you know traffic itself, right? Uh, we know, and the company knows that the majority of people, right, and, and everyone should know this, that the majority of people cannot sell, right? Like it, that's just that's factual. Like no one can refute that, right? Um, you know. You know, Anita mentioned about selling timeshares. You know, that's, gosh, that's a really good example. Um, you know, people just can't sell, folks. You know, you're a lawyer. You you know to do you know lawyer stuff. You know what I mean. You're an accountant. You know to do accounting uh, stuff. You, you know what I mean. You're a nurse, etc. Right? People can't sell. Right. That's why there's always if you need a job, yeah. you can always find a sales job. It, it's there. Trust me, it is there. You can always find a, a job um, for you to sell. Now, will you be good at it? That's a different story. Most people are not good at it. Pick any company, right? You go to a car car dealership, right? And you know maybe this person sold you a, a vehicle. Okay, come back even six months later. That person probably won't even be here anymore, right? They've moved on to something else because they weren't good at it. Because if they were good at it, they'll be there year after year after year. OK, just doesn't work that way, you know, and, and we can go on and on with a whole bunch of examples when it comes to selling people selling life insurance. Right. They may last one or two years and then 
off doing something else because they weren't good at it, right? And, and so on. So we know that. The company knows that. That's why so many people came into on passive because they can't sell. And if you if you if you have products, you have to be able to sell the products. How else will you make the money if you don't sell the products? Okay. So the company has put together a model whereby it doesn't matter whether you can sell or not. Okay, whether you specifically you can sell or not. You know, it, it is possible to use technology, to use software, put because sales is a process, right? It's not just boom, a single event. It's a process. Sometimes I may have to, you know, show you what I have to offer, right? I have to find a way to capture your information so that way I can um, follow up with you automatically, right? I have to be able to um, do that over time, not just one time, not just hit and miss. You come to my site one time and that's it. You never come back again. I have to be able to have a way that I can automate that so that, you know what, I can follow up with you a week from now, a month from now, and so on and so forth. All that is important. It's all part of the process, okay? Because a lot of people, it takes multiple exposure before they buy. And everyone, you know, can, can participate in this. You know, you walk into a store. Do you always buy that fourth store that you walk into, Right? Sometimes people are shopping, 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 shopping. They go the entire day and even buy nothing. <laughs> Maybe some food to eat and that's about it, right? And then they go back home and another time they go back out and they shop, shop, shop. You're trying to buy a home. The first home you walk into, you buy it, right? So it's, it's about exposure. And so the company understands the sales process, right? They understand marketing. They know what works and what doesn't work because it's not just, well, I bought some ads, Okay. How do you know the ads that you bought? How do you know it's, it's good traffic? How do you know it's real eyeballs? How do you know it's not some um, you know robotic um, venture that you got yourself into where you see, oh, I got a whole bunch of clicks, but they're not real. It's just automated clicks, right? Like there's so much that go into it, folks. Because if everyone understood it, everyone knew how it all works, then we all of us would be winning at whatever business we join. It's just, that's just not the case, okay? So the bottom line is the company knows exactly what they're doing. They know how the process works and they put it together for all of us. So regardless of your background, whether you're tech savvy, whether you can sell or not, it doesn't matter. The company's laid it out nice and simple for everyone to be able to participate and to be able to experience the success. Now, when we're talking about sharing, we're talking about the level of success that you want to experience, okay? All of us are going to win. But doesn't mean that we're all going to win at the same amount. Doesn't mean that I'm going to make the same income that Comfort's going to make, that Andy's. It doesn't mean that, folks. Okay? So there are things that we can do to, A, speed up the process of making sales. There's things that we can do, right, um, that's going to get us as, as, much, as much success as we want. Okay? Such as, okay, the more traffic I buy, right? So all of a sudden on passive, the entire system is ready. You got your domain name. You got your website all set up, right? You got your content on your website. Now you can buy uh, targeted traffic. Okay. But if somebody goes in and buy, you know, let's just say a hundred visitors versus someone who buys a thousand visitors, the person who bought a thousand visitors, not guaranteed, but they have a greater chance. It's a greater probability. Okay. That's what we're talking about. That how, That's how people can get to their you know, whatever destination they're looking for can get there faster, can get, you know, more of it, et cetera. Just things that we can do. And it does not necessarily mean that I have to run out there and share with my family and friends. And it doesn't necessarily mean that, folks. But if you have the ability to do that, why not? Because that's what traffic is all about. Traffic is about exposing your business to everyone everywhere. Because sometimes you may misjudge. Sometimes you may look at someone and say, oh, no, they wouldn't be interested in my business. But how do you really know that, though, unless you put it in front of them? So me personally, I like to put my business in front of everyone and let them choose for themselves. Because I do it in such a professional way that I don't need to be, you know, chasing anyone. You know, I don't need to be explaining it. You can automate all this stuff, folks. And that's what Unpassive is doing for all of us. Automating the process so that we can win. Win, win, win.